Just follow him, arrow, arrow. This wireless electronic library was named after the village chief, Malek Nathaniel Guare. The library will be used by students for research and school projects. Lay District will soon launch two more e-libraries. Uh, then we have another e-library to open. It'll be uh, Top Town, where the public toilet is. That's the Lujaya Koza e-library. And then uh, where the district office is and the city council, they will share that uh, accessibility to that e-library. We will honour our Lay District Administrator, uh, CEO Robin Callistus. It'll be called the Robin Callistus e-library. Lay Secondary School was the first to get this wireless electronic library in 2014. It was part of the school rollout program. The school principal, Christopher Raymond, said the project has been very beneficial. Uh, from 2014, I think our results from the school has actually improved so much. And that is solely for the for a reason of our students having the opportunity to actually access information. The project was created and installed by Kail Information Technology, a local company in Ley. The library contains information on education, agriculture, health, and other subtopics. Other secondary schools and primary schools will soon have access to this wireless electronic library. The wireless covers a radius of 150 meter radius. As long as you're within the area, you can pick up the e-library and you can connect. Uh, once again, you don't need him any data or megabytes to access him. Just bring your phone, come and turn on your mobile phone. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.